welcome to the quick book learning once again i am anwar and today we will learn in uh, in the quick book uh, how to create a sale invoice without the sale order okay so we will start you can create a sale invoice from two places as i told you in many videos that we have home page and on this home page we have some shortcuts like this sale order create invoice okay and we can also make a sale invoice from the customer menu okay create sale invoice this is you can see create sale invoice from here we can make a sale invoice or from the home screen we can click on it i will click on it and you see we come to the sale invoice window i will back and again customer menu create sale invoice click on it and it will come to the same create sale invoice window we'll start okay the first thing is to select the customer or job currently we have the customer bob in company okay here the uh, the quick book give me a warning the warning is the credit limit of bob in company is 4000 the current balance uh, including this transaction is 7725 the so it means we have selected we have uh, set a limit a credit limit for this company and the credit limit is 4000 whenever you cross this limit the quick book will warn you that the that you have uh, uh that you have crossed the limit okay i will just click on it for the time okay template here you can select the template if you have a customized template then you can select it here okay how to customize a template will uh, tell you in coming videos select the date of the invoice the date of the invoice is 26 or 27 today is 27 okay it's invoice number the invoice number is generated automatically by the quick book but if you want to give the invoice number manually you can change it ship to you want to add the ship to address then you can add a new i will not add okay po number you receive a po from the customer purchase order from the customer and this purchase order will have a number you can write this number here to track the it is good to track the sale and also good for the making a reconciliation with the uh, customer okay and this is a reference terms if you have set the terms it will come automatically here for the customer or you can choose any one representative if you have a sale representative the person who is selling or dealing this customer you can select i have select to a a is for quote ship date you can set the ship date it's today date why are dhl ups uh us mail federal ex i will leave it blank quantity and code first we select the code we are selling chocolate and here you can check the available quantity in the stock or store the available quantity is 124 okay 124 we have on the hand quantity if you want you can check the detail purchase order we can receive it okay but not here i will say that we selling 
each tin number mango chocolate okay unit of measurement price you can put the price manually or if you have a list of prices a uh, price list then you can select the price list and the price will come automatically if you do not know how to set a price level in the quickbook you can watch my video i have a video the second thing is we will sell let me check how much quantity we have for candy check the quantity you can check here and we have 3089 okay on hand quantity available i will say we are selling 50 orange you can uh, give any description which is relevant price again if you want you can give the price at manually or you can select the price level tab okay i will change the quantity to 250 okay customer note you can put the note here memo customer text code if if available save and close you can save uh, you can save and close the transaction if you want to make another invoice sale invoice you can click on save and new new one thing more you can save from here and you can receive the payment for this invoice save it again it's giving me the warning that you have crossed the credit limit with the bob i will say yes Yeah, I have selected the representative. Yes, I will tell that always. Uh, spell check, change. I think I have replace all. Okay, it is now save. Now, if you want to receive the payment for it, you can receive from here. You can see here, receive payments. Click on it and here you can see the customer is the same bobbin company payment amount is because this is only selected <coughs> you can see here it have only selected the current invoice in the current invoice price was 535 you can see i will come back 535 and the uh, invoice number is 4351 receive and you can see this is 535 amount and the invoice number number you can see here 4351 okay i will say we will receive only this one this is check or cash you can select cash or check okay credit debit e-check more gift card no check this is check save and close i hope this is nothing new okay save and close you can see here you see this is here now this invoice is paid the quick book will stamp it with the paid and paid on 4 uh, april 27 okay you can see here this invoice is now paid it means this invoice is clear whenever you print it it will be stamp with paid you see paid paid on 427 very easy for tracking the payment it is very easy whenever you check the invoices it will automatically stamped okay with paid with paid means that we have received the payment okay so this was the way uh, how to uh, create an invoice 
in the QuickBook and how to receive the payment for this invoice. I hope you understand and if you have any question you can leave the, uh, the question in the comment. I will respond to you and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you in the next video.